This presentation summarizes the results of the Work Package 3 in the H2 Ecosystem Roadmap project and serves as a visual representation of why hydrogen is important for our region, what is needed for its development and how this development can be achieved. The aim with the roadmap is to present a future vision and contribute to a broadened understanding of the needs for preparing the region as a whole to be involved in developing the business opportunities of hydrogen as part of a CO2-neutral, sustainable future. Let us start with a short recap of why green hydrogen is significant for reaching climate neutrality goals. The goal of transitioning to a climate-neutral and sustainable society is a key driver for both public and private actors to collaborate on changing the current energy system. The fossil-based system must be replaced by a combination of different clean and renewable alternatives. Green hydrogen can have a significant role in enabling this transition, especially in the decarbonisation of otherwise hard to abate sectors, and as a link coupling together different industries. Thus, transitioning to a hydrogen economy means to replace the existing hydrogen markets that use grey fossil-based hydrogen with green and carbon-neutral hydrogen alternatives and use them in new applications that are otherwise hard to decarbonize. Besides being at the forefront of fighting climate change, the hydrogen economy is seen as a pathway to support the energy self-sufficiency of regions. This has become an increasingly topical question, especially during the last year due to the international security and energy crisis. However, the green hydrogen economy is not and should not be considered as the only development alternative towards reaching energy self-sufficiency and climate neutrality goals. There are clear focus areas where green hydrogen can be considered the best alternative available and others that are not. This is well exemplified, for example, in the well-known Michael Liebrich's hydrogen ladder. The areas where hydrogen is perceived most attractive and competitive against other technological solutions include the decarbonization of chemical and process industry, such as fertilizer production or production of green steel, as well as power to X processes, where hydrogen is produced and then used as a raw material in the production of synthetic fuels, such as green methane, methanol and ammonia for decarbonizing transport industry. The European Union and many other nations have formed their own hydrogen strategies, which direct public innovation and infrastructure investments into developing the hydrogen sector. The aim is to support climate neutrality goals and at the same time support business opportunities and EU's economical growth. Also, Finland has included hydrogen as one part of its climate and energy strategy for 2035, where different measures are presented for enabling the development of the Finnish hydrogen sector. There is now strong political support for hydrogen, power to X and carbon capture initiatives. And up to 150 million euros of public funding is directed towards initiating different collaboration and demonstration projects related to these green technologies. With this background as a reference point, we have set out to ask the question, what is needed for a hydrogen economy to develop? And how can this development be achieved? In order to answer these questions and to understand what kind of opportunities and challenges a hydrogen economy could present the region, the insights gathered from the literature reviews Three different workshops and from individual interviews and discussions have been analysed and summarised. We present our analysis in the form of a roadmap and a future vision of a green hydrogen economy in Ostrobotnia. When we look at where the development of the hydrogen economy is today, we need to understand that we are on the first steps of a new and emerging socio-technical environment. Transitioning from a fossil-based energy system to a system relying on clean and renewable energy sources is not only a technological challenge, but a great social challenge as well. Thus, the variety of issues that must be considered is both multifaceted and complex. Looking ahead towards the year 2030 
and imagining a region where hydrogen has become an important pillar in the local economy and in the energy system. Many changes and a huge developmental leap must have taken place. To get a more comprehensive picture of this development, we will describe the strengths and opportunities of the region, as well as describe what is needed for the best case scenarios of a hydrogen economy in Ostrobotnia to be realized. The most important strength of the region is the high amount of renewable energy that can be produced. This gives the potential of the production costs of green hydrogen to be one of the lowest in the whole of Europe. Besides beneficial premises for energy production, the strong energy technology cluster in Vasa and chemical and process industry cluster in Kokkola, with both leading global companies, high-tech and digital solutions companies, as well as SME subcontractors, lays the ground for global export of system-level solutions. The leading companies in the region are already active in the emerging hydrogen technology markets and there are opportunities for SMEs to follow suit. A strength of the region is also that the idea of competing as an ecosystem has been built up for a longer period of time and there is a tradition of cross-sector collaboration. The system solutions that need to be built require development and demonstration of sector coupling solutions and finding industrial synergies. There are excellent opportunities in the region to combine hydrogen production with carbon capture from municipal waste burning, for example, and use excess heat in district heating, as well as find uses for waste streams, such as using oxygen in the emerging battery sector. For developing the hydrogen economy in the region as a whole, a strength is also the collaboration between a triple helix of actors in business, regional development, and within research and education institutions. Actors in these different organizations have proactively started building the local know-how related to hydrogen technologies, system solutions and developing the ecosystem in general. There is an opportunity to develop the region into an internationally known center of excellence. In the best case scenario of 2025, the Ostrobotnian pilots that have been initiated have now been successfully realized and the production facilities of hydrogen are in full operation. There is a total of at least 250 megawatt hydrogen production capacity at three different locations in the region and an initial local market of hydrogen has been created. On top of this, local small and medium-sized hydrogen storage and transmission projects have been initiated. In the best case scenario, there is also a good integration of the whole value chain and there are local companies who are handling both production, storage as well as transmission of hydrogen within the ecosystem. The success of the pilot projects has secured continuing political support for green hydrogen and the strategies for the region support the expansion of the hydrogen business. The local network of triple helix actors are actively engaged in developing the hydrogen sector together. This development has been made possible by a steep learning curve regarding technology, business models and ecosystem models. Investment decisions of the pioneering pilot and demonstration projects have been made timely and a broad base of local companies of all sizes have been able to participate in the pilot projects and test and develop their products and services. Also, Local authorities have been involved in an early stage. Information is shared proactively and this way permitting processes have gone smoothly. The key to all this is that knowledge sharing between different actors is facilitated by good structures. Moving on to the vision for the year 2030. Business cases are now commercially viable and the region of Ostrobotnia is a net exporter of both hydrogen, clean fuels and power-to-x technologies. The steel and fertilizers industries have transitioned to using green hydrogen in their processes and the local companies have built the capacity of meeting the needs of an up to 5 billion euros export market potential. Rules, standards and incentives have been put in place for using e-fuels both in the marine 
and heavy-duty transport sectors. And also the region's local transport sector has fully transferred to using green fuels. This development has been made possible through upscaling of the demonstration projects and building up the infrastructure for transferring hydrogen. Hydrogen is now transferred by pipeline connecting to the big green steel producers in the north and the ports are in full use to export synthetic fuels by vessels. Most significantly, the development leap has been made possible by a strong local network of players that are running the hydrogen business as an ecosystem and provide solutions both for local and international customers. Through mobilizing both public and private financial resources, the region's green electricity and green hydrogen production capacity is to a large extent locally managed and owned, which has contributed to making the hydrogen economy a significant pillar in the local economy and in reaching regional climate goals. Let's move on to summing up the key issues that need to be taken into consideration that impact the development of this vision. Many of the system-level solutions that are visioned as part of the emerging hydrogen economy are now developed for the first time. For these to be realized, different technologies in the hydrogen value chain need to become connected. At the moment, very few actors have a detailed system-level understanding of how all the different technologies will be combined. This means that building these solutions will require modeling and experimenting with possible alternatives. Knowledge will thus need to be built up gradually, interactively with different stakeholders in the process. And this takes time. The pilot and demonstration projects that have already been started in our region are good examples of all the required system-level alignment that needs to take place in order for green hydrogen solutions and their business cases to be realized. Besides business partners, also the broader network of actors must be involved in learning process. These include the local research and education institutions who will educate the required workers in the future, but also local decision makers and authorities who will make decisions regarding land use plans and be in charge of permitting and safety standards. It is through building up knowledge within the larger Triple Helix network of actors that the region as a whole will be able to develop and benefit from the hydrogen economy. The key message is that these local pilot and demonstration projects are vital for directing the development of the hydrogen economy in our region. It is through these projects that a deeper understanding of the system level operation and the business feasibility is developed. This knowledge is built up interactively with initial customers, business partners and suppliers of different components. It is also through the pilot projects that the ecosystem of partnerships is built up who can together develop the system-level solutions for global export. Based on the vision and the key implications for how the development can be achieved, a summary of recommendations for next steps and action points for the future is now presented. First of all, local decision makers should put focus on determining the role of hydrogen in municipal and regional strategies and include it as one piece in the puzzle towards climate neutrality. The strategic focus should be combined with directing public funding accordingly. Second, business leaders in the pioneering projects are encouraged to be transparent and involve local stakeholders, suppliers, researchers and public authorities in the development so that knowledge can accumulate in the region among a broad base of actors. Third, there are specific knowledge needs that research and education institutions in the region should respond to. Building a demonstration environment where hydrogen as part of the larger energy system can be studied is one of the areas that should be prioritized. Other important areas include the business models related to the hydrogen economy and developing knowledge and hydrogen safety and standards. Overlapping activities should be avoided and instead actors are encouraged 
to reserve adequate resources for collaboration and joining forces across organization boundaries. Fourth, an actor that coordinates the hydrogen development activities in the region and a structure that continuously supports these activities should be defined. We suggest that regional development companies establish a Hydrogen Ostrobotnia team that can coordinate activities in the region. This new organization should have a clear goal to do matchmaking between different actors so that concrete pilot and demonstration projects related to hydrogen are started. To conclude, the region of Ostrobotnia has all the possibilities to develop the future hydrogen economy. This will, however, require visionary leadership and orchestration and that all needed actors find their own role in the emerging ecosystems. Different actors across sectors will need to collaborate together, both business, public authorities and research and education institutions. Considering the historical development of the ecosystem in our region, we have every chance of reaching this goal. But the journey has just begun, so let's continue and accelerate this important work together. We wish to thank our project collaborators and financiers, as well as all of the over 150 individuals who have in some way participated in our activities. Thank you.